Good evening and thanks so much for joining us tonight for THV 11 News at 5. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. And I'm Roly Hoyt. We begin with the latest on the coronavirus here in Arkansas. And there's a pattern to how the COVID-19 numbers come out. Cases surge, hospitals fill up, and then the deaths increase. And today brought a disappointing report in that last category. The state added 41 new deaths. That's only the second time we've seen a daily total that high since February. At that time, more than 40 people were dying from the virus every couple of days. In all, 6,539 Arkansans have died since the start of the pandemic. But there are some encouraging signs in those other categories. The 2,200 new cases reported today is down from last Tuesday's figures. Active cases also came down for a second straight day, and the hospital caseload fell from its record highs. And as our state continues to battle this latest wave in the pandemic, the toolbox doctors have for treating COVID-19, it's pretty slim. We've talked about one of the treatments, monoclonal antibodies, that has had a lot of success in COVID patients recently. THV 11's Mercedes McKay joins us from UAMS to introduce us to another tool, one that doctors say is saving some of the most critical COVID patients. Mercedes, what is it? How does it work? Roly Marlisa, it's called ECMO. It's basically a life support machine. UAMS started using the therapy back at the end of March, and although it's not a cure, healthcare workers say it's giving people more time. There are about a half a dozen patients that I would say um, wouldn't be alive today in Arkansas if we hadn't had this, this therapy available to us. A therapy that some doctors describe as a last ditch effort. It's sort of the last um, most intense method of life support that we have. Known as ECMO, it's a machine that pumps and oxygenates blood outside the body, which gives the heart and lungs time to rest. UAMS ECMO coordinator Dr. Benjamin Davis says they use it on people with severely damaged lungs. ECMO is what we give people when nothing else has worked and um, all we're really giving these people with ECMO is time. When the program started, Davis says they thought the pandemic was on its way out, but with the Delta variant and critical patients coming in, the plan drastically changed. In four and a half months, we've used it already as much as we thought we were gonna use it in the first year. UAMS has enough machines to put seven patients on at one time, but according to Davis, the machinery isn't where the vacancies lie. What really limits us is the number of nurses that we have that are qualified to take care of patients that are sick and that are qualified to, to run the circuit. It's a job that nurse Carmen Eakin describes as extremely time consuming. They're in that room for those full 12 hours. They are seeing these patients more than they're seeing their own families right now. The bond those nurses create with the patient's families is what Eakin says hurts the most. Unfortunately, as much as we wish that we could and as hard as we fight, we are unable to save everyone. While it is an important tool that has saved some, Davis believes it's not the most powerful one we have. If I could give away all the machines that we have and everybody in Arkansas would get vaccinated, um, we'd save a whole lot more lives that way. Davis said they've had patients on the machines from six days up to six weeks. UAMS had to purchase more circuits because of the amount of critical patients that keep coming into the hospital. Live in Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News.